Hey everyone, one Did you go forever here, and I know the videos I have uploaded on stickers might not have been that interesting, so I have decided to do a crafts video, um, more AG related, and I hope you guys like it. So yeah, let's get started, and I'm just hoping that this will be one long video instead of a few parts, so we'll just get started right now. Okay, so most of the crafts that I have, aside from the polymer clay stuff, um, came from this doll crafts book. And as you can see, I have made most of the stuff, except um, the bulletin board, um, some few envelopes, and um, I guess the vases, but other and the clock. But other than that, I've, I finished pretty much everything. I just kept some stuff here, like this desk blotter, because I don't have a desk for my dolls yet. So I'm just hoping to get Kit's school desk um, at Christmas or something, but I can wait. And I really love the the how-to books that they come with because there are a lot of things that you can do for your dolls in this book so yeah so let's get started first of all I just have some punch outs so I'll show you so I have this chess board or checkers board and it's just really cool um, the pieces are in Julie's lunchbox but they're basically like cut out pieces um, and then the rest of the punch outs um, are made already so we'll just get started with the polymer clay stuff so anyway here I have a lot of bad stuff here um, like, for example, I failed on the potato chips because I really wanted them to have, like, a dark outer layer, but they kind of came out really weird. So, maybe I, I learned from my mistakes, so next time I'll just have one color. And then I have some lemons, you know, for, like, lemonade, like a lemonade stand because I have, like, the materials for lemon, but not the lemon for the lemonade, but not for the stand. <laughs> but anyway, here's what it looks like. It has a lot of texture to it, but you can't really see that much, but yeah. And then I have one of my favorites are these truffles. They're really cool. Um, and the, it's really easy to make these. All you have to do is take um, your inside color. It could be strawberry or anything. And just roll it into a truffle shape. And then roll out with like a clay roller, chocolate clay, or any um, color clay. And just roll it, uh, cover the white, um, just the inside part. And roll it until it has it's really smooth and then make it into a truffle shape uh cut it with a cookie cutter and voila and i added some icing and i have a bigger one here for my doll i added a little eye pin but i can easily take that out so yeah and then last but not least i have this steak dinner and it's really really cool um but the plate's really bad i mean i succeeded in making it the right shape but it has a lot of um uh, pastels on it like it's really bad but I think I did a pretty good job on the t-bone steak this is Tony Ellison's steak dinner and then the asparagus looks pretty good and um, the potato looks really good although the shading is really off but yeah it has butter on it and mozzarella cheese with a few condiments or like pepper or something green peppers so um, just comment down below on how what do you think of it so yeah okay so now on to the crafts Okay, so basically I just have some of my favorite crafts or like bigger crafts on t crafts on top and the rest are in the shoebox. So yeah, first of all I have these um, cards. I have, I've put them in this little thing that I used to hold er book erasers. So yeah, I got the idea from Kids KK. So anyway, I just have a few of the envelopes that I've made. I'll show you one. But I've pretty much decorated all the cards. Comes with a lot of cards. Not really sure. Maybe 12. I don't know. So um, they have much more envelopes inside the kit. But um, I'm still I'm thinking about making copies. So yeah. Okay, I'll just put that away later. So I have this waste basket. And I really like it. Because um, I actually had fun making this scrap paper. And you don't have to find like special paper around your house or where you live, um, all you need to do is, if you have the kit, um, just make everything else, and then the scrap paper that you came out of the punch-outs, um, that are really colorful, by the way, like, for example, this one, yeah, you can make into scrap paper, so, yeah, it's really cute. Next, I have this tissue box. It's adorable, but I'll find a way soon, like, you know, how to make it, um, like when you take one out, another one pops up, but it's super adorable. And yeah. 
So here I have this boom box and it's so cute. Um, you're not going to actually hold it and it's really pretty. And it actually comes with a CD case, but I'll show you that later. Um, next we have this super adorable chamomile, chamomile, chamomile tea. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce it. And it came with stickers, so you can put it on. And it comes in this really pretty box. Then you can just easily open it. Yeah, it's, it can be easily open. And it's just a simple box template. And I'm thinking of making miniature tea bags, but I'm not sure how or if if I'll succeed, so we'll see how that goes. Next, I have this little bag. I'm a little disappointed with this because it's like paper. It's easily um, breakable or bendable. So I'm just going to make it like a simple pouch for show, I guess. But it came with this super adorable wallet. So inside, it's where all the good stuff is. Just open this. We have um, Punch-Out Money. It goes all the way to 50. And then what I really love about it is that they came with little cards. Like here I have this uh, so, so Small Shop gift, gift card, $25, a travel pass, and a public library card. So, yeah. So we have that. Okay, now we're inside the box. This is a shoe box. I got these shoes right here. And I just love American Girl shoe boxes because they're really great to store your doll's things. And it's so fun to open them. Okay, so first of all, we have beauty boxes. At first, I did not know what the heck they were because they looked really cool yet confusing. But then when I started making them, they were so fun to open. Um, the only thing I had wished was if this was a, just a smidge bigger of a box, but it's okay. So how you open it, just like this. Just... You just have to press one side of the lid. Ta-da! It's really fun. We have this heart one. I think they're for special occasions, I guess. Ta-da! Okay. Next we have this relax... Whoops. The CD fell. Next we have this relax CD. And this one matches with the boombox. So, yeah. I think um, I might... I may cut a slit so it looks more, you know, realistic. But this is super adorable. It's a, a relaxed songs for quiet times. And, yeah. So, just inside, it comes with this super adorable CD. And I already punched out the hole. And I think I'm going to cover it with some plastic wrap to make it look, I guess, more realistic. But the back is even gray. And I just really like it. I liked this template so much and how it looks like that I have decided, I decided before I glued it and everything, I would trace out its template so I could make much more, like a CD collection. So I really, um, if you, if you can, you can also copy it, but I really recommend you at least trace it. So, um, please watch part two and hopefully that's the last part of this crafts video and I really hope you enjoyed this video and there will be another part so yeah please comment rate subscribe and just comment what you think and yeah bye guys